Hey guys, it's Meg. I am back this week with a new video for you. Um, this is going to be our standard tarot reading. Uh, so if you guys want to sit in, get comfy with a cozy beverage, um, I'm going to read your cards and hopefully something in here resonates with you. Um, I have some really exciting stuff coming to you in terms of tarot reading, so I I really hope you'll stay tuned for that. March is going to be awesome and I cannot wait. I know I'm going to have to and that is the most annoying part of uh, doing all of your content early. But uh, but it's been a lot and I've been way too excited just to get there. So um, hang in there with me. Hang in there with me. We're going to we're going to have some fun in March. So um, before I get into the reading, I just wanted to let you know that, um, you know, I'd be happy to have you along for the ride on this channel. So if you like what you see in the video, please go ahead and consider hitting the like, subscribe, and the bell buttons if you would like to see more from me. Um, I also do standard like vlog style videos throughout the weeks. Not throughout the week, but I do take notes of um, what happens to me during the week, and I talk about it in the video. Um, so, uh, you know, I do that style of vlogging as well. Um, so if you like that content, I have that there for you as well. Um, again, like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you can stay in the loop for when I post new work. Um, I also um, have included links to my website, my social media, so if you want to get in touch with me outside of YouTube, you can. And I always forget to mention this in my past videos, but I am available for tarot reading commissions. So if you want to book a reading with me, I would appreciate it and I'd be very happy to help you in that way. Um, you're going to do it through my coffee blog. I have all of my prices listed there. So link in the description. So um, we're going to be we're going to be getting into the reading now um, but I wanted to share the decks with you. We're going to start we'll start somewhere but we're going to be using the Ethereal Visions Tarot by Matt Hughes, the Spirit Song Tarot by Paulina Cassidy, and the El Key Oracle by Melanie Delon and Arlen Bell. Yeah, well, there it is. Um, again, it'll be in the description. So, you know what? Let's start, let's in fact start with the ethereal vision. So I wanted to tailor this reading in the spirit of friendship and love and gratitude for all of you watching right now. Um, if there are any questions on your heart and on your mind, I hope this reading can answer them for you. So uh, the first card, I'm feeling, I'm feeling maybe three cards from each deck, but let's see, let's see what kind of flow, whoops, okay, well, I was just about to say what flow we're going to get into, but I had a card fly out. So we have the King of Swords coming out first. And, um, that glare's awful. I'm so sorry. Um, King of Swords. So we have someone who is, I'm going to say, very smart. Um, they're in authority over their own knowledge. They're using their knowledge to get things done. Um, they might be, or this character might be very cutting and, um, Maybe maybe they're very decisive, but they have a way of presenting that decisiveness that's a little bit like, oh, I better give you a white birth. Um, and that's, you know, that's okay because, again, they have to, they're good at getting things done, right? Um, the thing is they know, they know what's up. They know what's, they know what they need to do. And... Again, maybe they have a way about themselves that's a little bit, um, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit, it, it gives people pause 
because they don't, you know, they might be quick to anger is the phrase that comes in first. Um, I don't want to imply that if you know someone like this, it's, this, isn't, this isn't to imply that they're a bad person, um, but they expect they have they expect a high standard because they know what needs to get done and they know how to get there. So um, there's a King of Swords energy. There's that kind of energy with this reading. Feel safe to say um, because we have this card out. So let's see how we can navigate this energy. So that is the King of Swords. Um, the second card, a shuffle. Let's see. You know what? I've decided I'm going to pull five. Um, we're going to do three from the middle of the deck and then find the energy on the top and or on the bottom and the top of the deck. So second card from the middle, we have the Fool. So here we have someone who is spontaneous, they're ready to go, they're starting something new, um, they're at the edge of what is old to them and what is going to refresh them. Um, you can see, maybe barely, but you can see that this character is on the edge of a on the edge of a cliff, on the edge of a precipice, and they're gonna step into the unknown. And this is interesting because we talked about, um, we talked about the King of Swords energy, how this is knowledge. This energy with the Fool is more spontaneous and ready to go. And again, leaping, maybe leaping from the pan to the fire. So, I just got the phrase parent and child in this. Maybe this is a wise, like, I'm going to say father figure, but parental figure is really what I mean here. And this is the child that's like, yeah, let's do it. Go, go. Slow your roll a little bit here. You don't know what's going to happen next, and that's okay, because nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow, right? Um, what I also like about the fact that this card comes up is that even if this parental figure comes up, um, you know, they're not, this is the parental figure. They can't protect this childish uh, new energy from just going forward, but they're, this child or this new um, this fool character is not alone because they have a loyal companion. They're supported either way. Here's their, you know, um, again, maternal, not really, parental support. Here's their friend support. They have, um, they have this sense of adventure that they want to, um, they really want to go with. And, um, this is interesting. I, I like this. So, so far, what I'm getting is that we're coming from, we're starting new. We're starting a new journey, and we have wisdom and knowledge that we didn't have before. So we can, we can take that leap, even though, um, yeah, we can take that leap, even though we don't know what's going on. We still have the support, and we still have the energy to make jump. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is the Fool. Let's see what else comes up. Card here. We have the Three of Cups. So this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful card because this talks about celebration, um, unity, harmony, peace, um, is coming together after a time apart. Um, and I'll tell you a little story about that. Um, some friends of mine from high school and I just had a, I'm gonna call it a Zoom call, but it was a FaceTime and we celebrated Valentine's Day with everybody via FaceTime. So it was really nice to do that. Um, but again, the spirit of love and peace and harmony is celebrating the growth and I'm getting there with the the leaves 
Um, but it's a chance to relax and refresh. So I talked about the celebration aspect. This character, if this is you, you've taken the leap, you made the you've made the jump into something new. And I think maybe this is a congratulatory card coming out for you because you've done something that you might have been scared to do. Uh, you've done something that you have never previously considered and it's something that you are really excited to share with your friends, your loved ones. Um, maybe in bigger picture this is um, this is a, a message of hope for us all that this pandemic quarantine isn't going to last forever. So um, let's hang on to this. Let's see where this goes. So that is the Three of Cups. All right, so um, the energy that is hidden on the bottom of the deck, we have the moon. So this is what scares us. Um, this is what uh, the illusion, I'm gonna switch hands here, guys, sorry. Um, this is illusions, this is dreams, this is having to sift through um, sift through what's in front of us to figure out what's real and what isn't. And this can be scary, um, but it can also be a time to cleanse and refresh and um, renew um, because it's taking place in dark. We, we're normally, unless you're a really big night owl, hello friends, um, you are refreshing and healing and I think this can also be a time of um, figuring out what you want and need and you know take a time to take the time to look into what your heart is telling you and what your mind is telling you as well um, but keeping in mind also that sometimes the heart and mind don't drive right they don't, they don't get together very well sometimes and what's up here, um, what you're believing up here, might not be the reality out here. So that is the moon. The energy on top is the two of wands. So here I'm feeling like there's a choice that needs to be made. And you guys, you can see um, that this person is looking out on the horizon and wondering, do I stay here or do I go? Um, and I think this is an interesting thing to get coming after the fool card um, because we're talking about taking a leap and we're talking about moving from old to new energy, um, taking a first step into a journey, um, being enthusiastic about that journey. However, however, Fear's now creeped in. And we're looking at it like, oh, uh, do I have what it takes? Do I really know what I'm doing? Um, yeah, <laughs> this isn't comfortable. I don't know what to do. Um, a decision has to be made. Because I feel like, especially with the two wands here, something's gonna spark. Something is going to, um, Something, yeah, a fire is going to start in you and, you know, there's this opportunity to move ahead, but if you don't take it, you know, what's going to happen to that fire? What's, is it going to burn you for not moving? Is it going to peter out? What, what's going to, what's going to happen? So I feel like, um, if this is resonating with you, um, there's a choice to be made, and you know, we talked about um, this fear in the moon. Um, maybe take some time to reflect, um, pull back on your fool energy a little bit and, and reflect on why, um, why you're feeling so enamored and moving, but also why it, uh, also why it scares you. It's the best I can say to that, so. 
Um, that is the Two of Wands. So we're going to move on to the next deck. This is going to be a long video, guys, um, but hopefully it helps. Um, that was the Ethereal Visions Tarot that we just used. Um, we're going to move into the Spirit Song Tarot by Pauline Cassidy. Um, again, everything's going to be listed in the description. So if you want a reference to the decks I've used in this video, it'll be there. So again, it's going to be the same process. We are going to pull three. Okay, we're going to pull three cards from the middle and read the energy on the top and bottom deck. So the first card that I pulled is the Queen of Crystals. And it came out, okay, it came out in reverse. So in this deck, crystals are a stand in for pentacles. And I feel like normally if this would have come upright, it would have been um, about comfort and prosperity. However, there's something uncomfortable about having this energy come out in reverse. Um, you know, we talked about having decisions to make with the Two of Wands. Um, perhaps this is the situation that's informing your need. Um, we also got the Fool energy out of that reading as well. Um, I feel like it's safe to say there's a desire to, uh, to move away from this discomfort. And that is an interesting thing for me to say because of how long we've been quarantining, how long we've been in inside. Um, this might not be so comfortable and it might not feel safe. It might not be okay anymore. And we've all struggled to figure out what that, what all of this quarantine means for us, especially now that we're almost a year into it. Um, I feel like, yeah, there, there's some discomfort and there's a desire to move away from it. That's fair. It's real and it's valid, especially if you're feeling like that. Um, let's, let's see how we can help ourselves through this emotion because it, it's, I'm feeling it come on very strongly. I've had some strong feelings and moving away from this discomfort as well. So hmm. let's see how we can help ourselves through that. The second card in the middle. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So interestingly enough, we have the Ace of Crystals and it's right side up. So again, here we're talking about prosperity. But the thing that is coming up with that is that it's talking about manifesting and bringing that into our reality. Hmm. Okay, so I talked about discomfort and dis not feeling sick, but being ill at ease. I was going to say dis-ease. That has a different connotation and I don't want to I don't want to imply that however um we've not been comfortable ultimately now we're looking to bring that comfort back and I think this is our call to act and to take steps to manifest that um manifest that comfort that we want because ultimately what we're looking for, and I'm going to bring up the next card, is that we're looking for, um, we're looking for balance and harmony again. We're looking to maybe reconnect. And yeah, again, we're looking to reconnect. Um, this is temperance. So there's been a lot of unbalanced energy, a lot of unbalanced emotion, especially where our level of discomfort is concerned and we're being asked to call it back to us. Um, we're being asked to do the work to call that back to us because this is our ultimate goal in trying to achieve that. 
So that was the Ace of Crystals and Temperance. So the energy, I'm going to shuffle this again. Okay, so we also have, I'm going to read an extra card for this. Um, we also, excuse me, we also have the Ten of Acorns coming up. Um, this is asking us to exercise responsibility and an I think this is um, this is the process of how we're gonna get that started. So um, think about what you want, manifest it into your into your existence, but do so in a responsible manner. So, okay, ten of acorns. Let me shuffle the card, and we'll see what energy is on bottom and top of the deck. Okay, so the energy that I have on the bottom of the deck, are you kidding? Okay, we have the Traveler, and in this deck, this is the Fool. So we have the Fool energy coming out again. Okay, um, again, like we talked about in the beginning of the video, this is about... Um, newness, brightness, you can see the sun, um, taking a leap of faith into something that we didn't, maybe didn't consider, maybe we didn't know was possible. So that is, that's, that's really cool. So that is the traveler. The energy on top is the world. So this is talking about fulfillment, um, celebration we've done the thing we've did we've done that difficult thing and now we're gonna sit back and be able to relax because uh we did it we did it we made it we are we're stronger for it and i think that is something to be celebrated <laughs> i love it when it works out like that you guys you have no idea thank you for letting me do this reading for you that was the world Okay, so much, oh my God. Okay, um, so we're going to move into the Elki Oracle. Um, again, these are going to be readings from our ancestors, our guides, um, and what is going to help us manage all of the energy that we have been seeing from our tarot. So, again, we're going to read three cards from the middle top and bottom energy. So, first card I want to pull out of the middle will be Valencia. So this is, um, this is someone who is determined and resolved in their convictions. They're gonna make it. That's it, I'm gonna make it. Can't move me, can't budge me off that. I'm gonna make it. So, um, yeah, let's, let's start there. Um, be resolute in what you feel you can achieve because you know you can. This person is determined and you're determined and we're going to see, you're going to see good things come for you. So, um, hold on to that energy. Um, let's see where it goes from there. Second guide we have coming out is Colette. Um, this is someone who is nurturing, very kind, um, treat, you know, treat yourself right. You know, you might be resolute and uh, determined to get through whatever all of this energy is coming. Um, maybe, you know, maybe the tarot didn't really resonate with you and you have something else that you're pursuing, achieving, and it's difficult and it's big and it's scary, but you're determined. Um, don't forget to take care of your take care of yourself too because it's going to do you no good to put all of your energy into something and not take the time to refresh yourself so yeah take take some time for yourself yeah self care is what i'm getting out of this so that is colette the third card from the middle is Jocelyn 
And again, this is about determination and persistence. Um, there's also, so let me show you where I'm getting that. So you see these taglines here. I'm getting, that's why I'm getting my buzzwords. Um, but there might, you know, you might be feeling defiant and, um, yeah, you might be feeling defiant in what you believe. And um, there's certainly some of that coming out in me right now um, with some things that have been happening. Um, but keep your keep an eye on your perspective, too, because it might be might be a little bit skewed. Just be persistent, be determined, uh, take care of yourself, but keep keep assessing why you're why you believe what you believe about the situation, um, because it might, you know, it might have a little bit of a um, little bit of color to it that shouldn't be there, maybe. I'm, I'm reading intuitively, so if that doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Um, but that is Jocelyn. Okay, I'm going to give a shuffle. I'm going to see either what pops out or what we can glean from the bottom and the top of the deck. All right. So on the bottom... Um... Okay, I don't know how to say that name, um, but this is someone who is kind, yeah, kind, caring. Um, she, I'm going to say this guide is going to work with Colette here um, because of someone who brings in, who is um, loving and caring. And, um, you know, what I talked about self-care with Colette, this is your call to action. This guide is telling you, uh, take care of yourself, please. Um, you're doing so much. You know, you're DTM, you're doing the most. Um, take a step back and really take care of yourself because you're not going to do yourself any favors if you try and give on an empty tank. So, yeah, there is, there's that card again. I'm not sure how to say that name. So if you, uh, if you have an idea, please go ahead and leave it in the comments below. So yeah, cool. So the card on top is Nemesis. Mm, okay, um, so we're looking at the outcome of all of this. We've been on a journey, we've done the work, we're doing, we're taking care of ourselves, we're doing the thing, but there's... Uh, there's some justice that needs to be called for and yeah there's some justice that needs to be called for we're looking at the outcome um, maybe we've sought revenge in this situation or maybe revenge has been sought upon us um, either way there will be excuse me there will be an outcome and there will be we will be asked to um, to answer for what we've done. Justice will be served in the situation, whether it is um, yeah, whether it is it is in our benefit or in our detriment. Um, but this is why I say take care of yourself and treat yourself kindly, because you know nobody's a saint. I, I mean. Unless, unless you have some religious, uh, religious stuff that tells you you can't be saying it. I don't know. I'm just talking. But treat yourself kindly because you will have to answer for that thing that you did or that action you took that may have been self-preserving. And, and this is from personal experience. I'm not going to get into it completely, but um, yeah, this will come. This nemesis energy will come. Um, this avenging energy will come, but let's not be malicious or mean um, because it happens to everybody. So um, that is nemesis. Um, so yeah, 
I love how this reading turned out, and if you guys love how this reading turned out, then please go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and the bell button. You already know where to go and what to do. Um, again, I'm available for commissions if you guys want to get in touch with me for a reading. Um, yeah, everything's in the description. Um, comments and feedback are welcome. So thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, everybody.